What's good, Tampa? Welcome back to another episode. Right now, we're in the heart of Seminole Heights at one of the most popular restaurants in town, Rooster in the Till. This place has won Best Restaurant in Tampa Bay two years in a row, so it only makes sense that we're here now to try it out. So come on with me inside. Let's go. My name is Farrell Alvarez. I'm the chef and owner of Proper House Restaurant Group, which encompasses Rooster in the Till, Nebraska Mini Mart, and Gaito Taqueria. And I handle primarily everything creative within our company. A Rooster in the Till is a small, independently owned restaurant that is fueled by a bunch of passionate people that we're fortunate enough to call our team. Uh, and we focus on just being really good human beings, offer great food and beverage, being ourselves, but definitely pushing the envelope from a food and beverage perspective. What we have in front of us right now is the sumac charred callalini. And these, some of these menu lines are gonna be hard for me to say, I'm just warning you up front about that. <laughs> I, I have a very bad speech to begin with. Um, but this is the soup. Vietnamese again. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Am I saying it wrong? Vietnamese. <laughs> Vietnamese. The sumac charred callalini. It's the callalini and then Florida tomatoes. And then there was goat's milk feta. Oh. This looks, again, almost too fancy to eat. I'll be honest with you. But you know why we're here. You know, we don't come to just look at the food, right? We come to eat it. So, the per let's get the perfect bite. With some callalini, some of the goat cheese, this is the cucumber. We're going to call this the Austin Camp. <laughs> First person view. How is that? So good. There seem, I can just tell by looking at it, there's tons of flavor in here. It's so fresh, it's so delicious. Let me also I've never had a Colalini, by the way. Tons of flavor in here. I didn't bring my glasses, so you're gonna have to read what it was. It's that dark one, I think. Uh, Stiletto, Charlie. I'm just gonna have to show it on the screen, folks. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't ask me to start pronouncing stuff right there. So it's the Soleto Charlie V E C C H I A Modina. I can't say Modina. That's what we got to drink for the first round. Again, this wouldn't be a Tampa's Life video without a cocktail, right? It's more of a sparkling red, you said? Oh, uh, let's do it. You know, I don't drink a ton of wine. If you guys have been watching, you know, new I'm kind things. Of, again, new things. New things, common theme. That was so good. That was so good. I feel like I'm just drinking like a, I don't want to say like a kid's drink, but it almost, <laughs> a punch that's like that good. Oh yeah! And again, I'm not a huge wine drinker, so round one in the books and I mean, we're off to a great start. Cheers. Rooster in the Till unique is the fact that we do what we feel we want to do from a food and beverage perspective. I think that we do things a little bit differently. I think that we're, our approach to food is a little bit more unique than some of the standard restaurants that you find around town, uh, as is our approach to the beverage program as well. Um, we offer a really great high energy environment with really good food but with no pretentiousness where you can just be yourself and come in in shorts and uh, flip-flops and a t-shirt, or you can come in with a suit and have a chef's tasting menu that'll take you three hours. Round two is now beginning, and we've got an old-fashioned, but not your regular old-fashioned. So this is their shins version of an old-fashioned. So it's black tea infused vermouth, and uh, bitters, maraschino cherry, orange peel. Looks delicious. Wow, so it's basically like an old-fashioned without... Lower alcohol content. Little, 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 yeah. Little, 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 little. Clearly needed by Austin. <laughs> wow, again, it's way more um, refreshing than an old-fashioned is, in my opinion. Oh, I like it way better. I keep trying to act like I'm sophisticated enough for an old-fashioned, but I'm not. 
you know, this would probably be my go-to here. Yeah. You know, this is really, really good. I agree. My this amazing. looks incredible. This is Parisian style gnocchi here, which is basically like gnocchi without potatoes. So I have that right? Yeah, no potato, no potato flour. No potato flour, braised short rib, and then we've got tomatoes and then fresh the, made ricotta. And, yeah, and some fresh made ricotta. And he said that the uh, the drippings of the short rib basically kind of make the gravy around the gnocchi. And he said this is the one thing that's been on the menu since day one. And I'm pretty sure there's a good reason for that, right? I would imagine. Let's yeah, I'm dying to try this. All right, here we go. I want to make sure I get some of that gnocchi and that braised short rib and that ricotta. <laughs> Again, Take this gnocchi is unbelievable. It looks amazing. Yeah, this is definitely my go-to when I'm coming to Rooster in the Till. The gnocchi, again, like I said before, it's a good reason why it's been on the menu since day one. Tell me. Um, yeah. We might need to get another one of these to go. <laughs> that is so crazy good. Oh, man. Fitz, I want you to try this. I know. Fitz, get in there. Get in there. Let, let, so me, good. let me have a little bit of that delicious. Fitz, here our we go. helper here. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. The short rib is so tender. The yeah. whole thing comes together. It's so creamy and delicious. And these little pepperoncini make it so good. Yeah, it's got great flavor to it. And again, the, the gnocchi, it's so soft in, in your mouth. It's just uh, it's amazing. Awesome. It's so good. Look at the size of this short rib. This is unbelievable. Yeah, she was adamant. You're doing rooster in the till. I gotta be there. She doesn't really sound like a man. <laughs> that was really sounded like, who's that wrestler? What wrestler? Macho Man. Oh yeah! <laughs> We're starting to deal, yeah. yeah! Round two, another success of Amazing. the book. Gosh, thank you Chef Barrel for uh, coming up with this dish, I mean. Um, I wish I could cook. I wish you could cook too. <laughs> After two successful rounds at Rooster in the Till, I'm pretty much stuffed at this point, and I gotta drive home. <laughs> so if you haven't been to Rooster in the Till yet, this is obviously a place in Tampa Bay. You've gotta stop at while you're here. It's highly recommended. It's amazing. I mean, I, I saw there's like almost 800 reviews on Google, and they've got like a 4.8 stars or 4.6, something crazy like that. So again, there's good reason for all that. It's absolutely delicious. And again, if you guys are looking for more Tampa content, I'm gonna throw two more videos up on the screen. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.